Hi third graders, Mr. Snyder here, and today what I want to do is show you the standard algorithm. You may already know how to use it, but we want to make sure that you do. We also want to show you the standard algorithm with more place value parts. Um, we're going to connect the two to show you how the shortcut used in the standard algorithm relates to the jump strategy, the split strategy, the other strategies we've been using. So I'm going to start over here with the standard algorithm showing all the place value parts. So when I do this particular strategy, I can start with either the tens or the ones. When I do the standard algorithm, I need to start with the ones and then move to the tens. So since that's the case with the standard algorithm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with the ones and the tens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ones together, six plus seven, which is 13. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the whole number underneath, 13. I'm going to keep the ones lined up and the tens lined up. The next thing I'm going to do is add the tens together. So 50 plus 80 is 130. And so I'm going to write that whole number, again, keeping place value position in line. So the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. And now that I have the two parts, I'm going to draw a line and add those together. And I can do this in any order. There's no regrouping here. So I have 143. So that's standard algorithm with place value parts. So I'll show you how it's going to look different in this algorithm instead of this one, okay? So I'm going to move this just to the side because I'm going to need this space up top here when I do 56 plus 87. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the 1. 6 plus 7 is 13. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 3 here because there's three 1s, but instead of placing my 10 here, I'm going to place my 10 above the other 10s in the number. And sometimes you'll see that as a full-size 10, or you'll see it as a smaller number. So then I'm going to add the rest of my 10s together. So I have 50 and 80, which is 130, plus the 10 I had before, ends up being 14 10s, or 140. And so I make sure I put that 14 in the 10s place, or make sure that I line it up so that it makes 143. So that's how these two are related. In this case, you're writing the whole 13 down. In this case, you're bringing the, the 1, 10, and 13, and you're bringing it over here. Next, I'm going to show you how to do it with a three-digit number. Now we're going to show you the standard algorithm with place value parts with a larger number and the standard algorithm. We'll compare the two so you can see how they're connected. We'll start with the standard algorithm with place value parts. Again, I'm going to start in the ones column because that's how we do with the standard algorithm. However, really, you can start in any column that you want using the place value parts. 5 plus 7 is 12, so I'm going to write the whole number 12 underneath. 30 plus 60 is 90. I'm going to write the whole number underneath, keeping place value positions in line, the 1s and the 10s. 400 plus 500 is 900. So you can see I'm stacking the amount that's 10s, 1s, 10s, and 100s underneath. And then I'm going to draw a line and add all of those parts together. So here is 2 plus 0 and 0, which is 2. 10 plus 90 plus 0, which is 100. So I'm going to write the 0 here. I'm going to bring the 1 over here. And then 900 plus 100 is 1,000. So that's how that can look in standard algorithm with place value parts. With the standard algorithm, you're going to regroup on top of the next column. So 7 plus 5 is 12. I'm going to write the 2 for 12 underneath, put the 10 above. Then I'm going to add my 10s together. 30 plus 60 is 90, plus another 10 is 10 10s or 100. So I'm going to regroup the 100, put the 0 for what would be 100. And then 500 plus 400 plus another 100 is 1,000 or 10 hundreds. And so I get my answer of 1,002. For the final example, we're going to add a three digit number plus a two digit number. First, with standard algorithm, place value parts. 7 plus 5 is 12. 80 plus 60 is 140. 200 plus nothing is 200. I'm going to add all three parts together. 2 plus 0 and 0 is 2. 10 plus 40 is 50. 100 plus 200 is 300. Now let's take a look at the standard algorithm. 7 plus 5 would be 12. Regroup the 10 over here. 80 plus 60 is 140. Plus 1, 10 is 150. So I'm going to regroup the 100 here. 
bring down the tens, 200 and 100 is 300. So that's how you can use the three digit and two digit number in both standard algorithm and standard algorithm with place value parts.